I am gonna do a couple of videos about Randonautica and me playing the app and pushing my limits and going to these scary places. And there might be a lot of you new on my channel who are like, CJ, what in the world is Randonautica? Well, let me explain this to the best of my ability. Randonautica is an app in which it is an exploring app, right? But it is used based upon your intentions. So like, let's say your intentions that day are, I wanna be put in a scary situation or a happy situation this random nautic app can literally help develop that for you. Now, if you go to a bad or a haunted area or somewhere scary and you have those intentions, it's just going to multiply, right? Now, I don't know if you believe in manifestation, but that's basically what this is. I know this seems far-fetched and trust me when I say this, I was a skeptic for probably the first two months of me playing this app back in 2020 through 2021. I stopped with this app because I really was getting put in some very dangerous and some very malevolent situations to say the very least. What up home slices, home fries, and homes of other varieties. So it's been a while. We haven't looked at CJ in a long time. So that's what we're doing. And it's more so reacting to his Randonautica experience. And we're going to talk a little bit about Randonautica. So I am going to put in some clips. As always, go and watch the original video for the context. I'm only taking snippets here and there. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna crack on into it with the first clip here. She met up with us, and when I say us, I'm talking about me, Jazz, Chris, back in 2020, I believe it was, when we first started playing this app. We talked about how the app was basically uh, what it really was. Like, are people actually stalking us, following us, trying to hurt us, trying to scare us, all of these different things? And they have claimed, no, it does not work that way. So we continue playing the app and whatever. And then Chris and I met up with Auburn in 2023 at the end of the year, I think in like November. And we all went to Las Vegas and played the Randonautic app. Now there is a lot of unseen footage within this video you're about to watch that I'm gonna add in here. And it's gonna be a little bit of a timeline leading up to my scary night just the other night of me playing Randonautica. So I want you all to focus in on this, right? Let's say that you've downloaded this app on your phone, you have no idea what it is about, and you and your friends are in your car and you randomly generate a point and your intention is to find uh, something scary. Well, the chances are you're probably gonna have a lot of bust along the way. This is this app kind of takes a little bit to dial in, right? And we've played for hours on end and I've wasted many a gallons of gas, thousands of gallons of gas, honestly, on going to random locations and nothing was scary or nothing had my intent but here's where things get weird everyone on the internet has always claimed that they get followed stalked something crazy happens but it's all about manifestation so i feel like the app uses a lot of or banks on how the human mind works it feels very psychological in terms of how it can set the mood or even just enhance it which can lead to a lot of self-fulfilling prophecies, which is the process through which an originally false expectation leads to its own confirmation that an individual's expectations about another event, person, situation, whatever, results in the other, and when I say other, I mean the thing we're talking about, in other ways, that confirm the expectations. Here's a cool little chart I ripped off of Google. Um, in a way, that could be considered manifestation. However, that's not the kind of manifestation you want, especially because it is brought about through false pretenses. I don't know, it's kind of like cheating in a way. I don't know, I don't like it. So when he says manifestation, like it goes based off of your intentions. Yeah, if you're self-fulfilling them. <laughs> but while I'm not 100% sure how the app works entirely, 
And guys, I've watched quite a few videos on people using it, so I feel like I have a general idea on how it works. I downloaded it, and maybe in the future I'll use it, but I feel like the app is pretty self-explanatory on how to use it. But with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if it listens in on the sound going on around you, or just like listening to conversations, or even using data collected from other users and the internet to pick out certain locations, especially Google Maps or satellite data that Google Maps uses. But of course, there is no proof of that. This is just a hunch. And it can technically, it could, I'm not saying it does, but it could use your past GPS data in your phone, again, through some of these GPS apps like Google Maps or Waze or whatever you use to go around to other places. But even if it's not active as you're going, which it is because it kind of tells you when you're getting close, how does it know where you're at? It's using some kind of GPS system. But so it could be using personal data from all the previous places you've been to. Now, it may not have access from your microphone, so it can't just like, without your permission, utilize your microphone. But we all know Apple listens to everything we say and do, and he even touches upon this, that when you buy Apple phones, it's always listening. So who's to say that the app isn't using previous data from all those times Apple has listened. That information is being stored somewhere. So it wouldn't be far-fetched to think that it could do that. It is a good way of collecting information without using your, your microphone. Like, it's a good way to bypass that without breaking laws or private access to your microphone. It's like a quick way around that. So I'm just saying it's possible, not that it's for fact, because I don't know, I'm not the person who created it. But I'm just saying like, that's a potential thought for discussion. I mean, obviously they got gates, there's lights back there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. 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 <sighs> Hang on one second now. All right, we're gonna get the hell out of here. I thought that was someone talking at first and it sure as hell was. And then, I don't know what that alarm was, but I'm, I'm not fixing to find out. I can tell you that much right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for everybody watching, I just shut the main cam off. That was weird. That was so freaking weird. So, I mean, I'm just traveling through what looks like the same area that I thought the previous intent was, but yeah, we're, I mean, I think it was six miles. Four, four to six miles, I don't know what that was. My mind is like running wild right now and I'm trying to get away. I don't know why I just don't mind. Now I'm not quite sure what that sound is here. I don't know if it's like an alarm going off in the app itself, like if you're getting close to the spot it picked out for you, or if it was something that he heard because of the property. Um, I'm not sure. It's not paranormal, I just know that it's something that's explainable through one of those avenues. Now, if it is from the app itself, then it's similar to the Seer app, if you've ever used the Seer app. When it generates an image, it makes that loud, like, sound, and it can make you scared or jump. But the other potential is that it could just be background from, he's on a road, so it could be from the road, like a vehicle, 
or it could even be from the property that has the trespassing signs like do not trespass you can set up either motion sensors or like i don't know it can trigger certain alarms that if a person gets to a certain point or crosses a certain threshold that it can trigger an alarm to alert the owners that somebody's there on their property i've seen people have that in person so those are the potentials again not paranormal this could just be someone from whatever that is i mean that could be some more occult to me that it could be a multitude of different things i don't know exactly <laughs> here he's like somewhere where colds meet like it's potential it's it's like okay that was hilarious but no it's somebody's property i just thought it was funny that he jumped to that conclusion out of like paranoia and maybe even just for dramatic effect for the content oh 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 fuck What the fucking hell was that? I'm glad I had the truck and drive. The sound here, it sounds like someone's knocking, like on the window or the vehicle. I don't know what it is. It's still not paranormal, but it there's a reasonable explanation that's natural. So whether it's someone knocking on his vehicle or a deer running up against his vehicle, it's one of those two, but I'm gonna say it's most likely either him doing it or somebody knocking. I know he doesn't have anybody in the vehicle with him, but like I said, not paranormal. It is explainable, explainable. It is explainable but he is around the woods and it's dark and there's a lot of nocturnal things outside. And through all of the clips that he had for his rando trips, I'm gonna call Randonautica trips rando trips. That's my um, short term for it. But there's nothing paranormal going on here in any of these clips. I'm not saying that his content is fake in any way. I'm just saying given the mood that is being set through his intentions in the dark environment, it makes the atmosphere really creepy and unsettling, especially because he's by himself. And at least the more recent clips, I think he believes something was paranormal or sus but that's fine that's his content he can do whatever he wants the point is to entertain and to have fun so i'm not judging by any means is what i'm trying to say so i'm just stating that nothing paranormal definitely creepy i wouldn't be there by myself in the middle of the woods mm -mm, mm -mm. overall i think playing along with this app can be potentially dangerous especially if users intentionally put themselves in unsafe circumstances and even in this video he's admitted to being in unsafe circumstances which is why he took a long break from it in the first place but if you are hell-bent on doing this fun activity if you want to call it that i recommend do not do it alone please have proper supplies like clothing especially if it takes you to like the woods and forests and things you don't want ticks you don't want to get hurt scraped bit whatever have proper clothes on have a little bit of extra food and water extra gas in your vehicle don't be doing it on an empty tank don't be foolish <laughs> bring a first aid kit etc do not do it in the dark because when it's in the dark you might have things you can't see obscure i don't know dangers that could be hidden in the dark or you just can't see very well and you just don't want to put yourself in any like potential 
hazardous conditions plus like weather do it when the weather isn't crappy so if you do get stranded you're not putting yourself the people with you and those that have to rescue you in danger so the fact that he did it at one point in like a blizzard I don't care if you have four-wheel drive don't do that that's not smart be responsible and for children children should not be playing this if children have to play this they need to have an adult with them too many things can go wrong period as for the stalking claims I don't think the app would allow that obviously but data is constantly being leaked onto the dark web illegally so I don't think it's impossible for user data to be leaked, but that goes for all things, all social media, all websites, anyone can hack into anything. Not to mention users could cross paths with dangerous people, especially in isolated areas. It's just overall not a good situation to put yourself in and do not trespass into anywhere. I don't know if I said this already, but I'm gonna say it again if I did. Do not trespass on other people's property. Especially in the South, a lot of people have the pew pews and you yourself don't want to become a pew pewed person and become unalived because people have the right to defend themselves and they're not going to know if someone's breaking in or just playing a game like they're scared and they're going to react. Don't become a victim, please. And also like if you go to high crime areas like I'm not gonna go up into North Philly in some back alley because Randa Nautica told me to mm -mm. uh uh nerp nerp it's Rando Nautic a good idea see what I did there I know it wasn't funny I'm sorry that was cringy would I potentially use this app in the future maybe maybe but if I do like I said before, I would have somebody with me just in case. I can see the potential adrenaline rush and fun and it makes for interesting content, but that's all I really can say about it. Yeah, it can give you that creepy feeling that someone is following you because you're kind of paranoid, especially if you fully believe in the game or I don't even know if I would call it a game, more like an activity. I mean... I don't know. Just if you do this, do it carefully and don't be stupid. Okay? That is my TED Talk. Oh no, seriously. But yeah, that's all I have to say here, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I like the content that people put out in terms of this app. Some videos are very interesting, not gonna lie. So I can see the appeal, I can see the appeal. But again, peace out.